welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Casey and this is my natural hair series called Curls with Casey. If you're not subscribed, go ahead down below right now and subscribe and click the little bell button so you'll never miss when I post a new episode. If you are new to natural hair or even if you aren't new and you just don't know what you're doing, this hair series will definitely be very beneficial to you. If you missed episode one, which is all about the big chop, go ahead and click it up in the cards above and check that video out first and then come back to watch this one. So <laughs> when you first go natural, the first thing you want to know is what is my curl pattern? What is it going to look like? How is it going to feel? Is it going to look like so-and-so? Is it going to feel like so-and-so? Can I do that like so-and-so does hers? You're always comparing your hair type to other people. Oh, what's your hair type? I think it's similar to mine. Oh, what's your hair type? I think mine is like yours etc etc so let's just go ahead and start this video off with a clear understanding that no one's hair type no one's hair texture no one's hair is exactly 100 percent the same even if you have the same hair type as someone there are many different characteristics that go into hair texture that may make your hair completely different from someone else's even if they have the same hair type as you hair type is literally just one of the many characteristics that you have to take into consideration when figuring out the best products and methods for you and your hair so today's video is going to focus mainly on hair typing but i do want to cover the other characteristics that go into texture typing so that way you guys can understand um, all of the different characteristics so there are five major texture typing characteristics the first one like I mentioned is hair typing hair type refers to the amount of wave curl or coil in your hair it is divided into four main types which is type 1 straight hair type 2 wavy hair type 3 curly hair and type 4 coily or kinky hair the second characteristic of texture typing is porosity porosity refers to how easily your hair can absorb or obtain moisture it can also determine how well your hair can hold moisture the third characteristic is density density refers to how closely your hair is packed together on your scalp and it ranges from low to high the fourth characteristic is width a lot of people get density and width mixed up but width actually refers to each individual strands amount of thickness whereas density is just how many strands of hair are packed into one section on your scalp so width ranges from fine to thick hair the fifth characteristic is length surprisingly and the reason why length is a huge texture typing characteristic is because it can really help determine what methods and products will work for your hair it can also help you determine how much products to use and how you should apply them so that's five characteristics that go into texture typing so that just goes to show you that hair typing by itself is not an accurate way to just say oh I have type 4 hair so I need to do this like no you have to also take into consideration all of the other characteristics of your hair like I said this video is going to focus mainly on hair typing I'm going to go into detail about each type of hair type 1 2 3 and 4 and I'm going to go into some of the other characteristics later on in this series so let's go ahead and get into what exactly each hair type entails so type 1 like I mentioned is straight hair each hair type is broken down into three different types, A, B, or C. Type 1A hair is generally described as literally just straight hair. It's very fine, it's very thin, and it has a noticeable amount of shine. Type 1B hair is more medium straight coarsely textured, and it typically has more body than type 1A hair. Type 1C hair is the most resistant to styling because it a little, it's a little bit more coarse and um, thicker textured than the 1B or 1A. So generally speaking, um, type 1 hair is really straight and then the 1a 1b 1c it just depends on how coarse or how thick or how thick your hair is now if you have permed hair it does not necessarily mean you have type 1 hair this hair typing is kind of more based on a natural hair texture so if you have relaxed hair it's kind of hard to really decide what your your hair type is your hair is pretty much chemically altered. All of the straight hair types are also usually very oily. Going into type two, which is wavy hair. Wavy hair usually isn't over oily and it's not usually very dry either. It has a pretty good medium. Clearly type two falls right in the middle of type one and type three. It's not straight, it's not curly, it's wavy. Type 2A hair is generally fine and thin. It's relatively easy to handle from a styling perspective because it can be straightened pretty easily and it can be curled easily as well. It, it kind of has a really good flexibility. Type 2B hair generally has waves that adhere to your head shape. Their waves generally lay in a way that is like in a perfect angle to fit their face. 
type 2c hair which is getting closer to type 3 is generally more frizzy and a little bit more harder to mold than the 2a or 2, or 2b okay so getting into the curly girls type 3 curly hair textures have a definite s shape curl pattern since the hair cuticle does not lay flat, it is not nearly as shiny as type 1. Curly hair typically does not hold a moisture as easily as type 1 or type 2 simply because there are lots of spirals, obviously, and the oil from the top of the hair cannot travel easily down all those spirals to the bottom. So the ends tend to be a lot more drier than the top because it just it's just harder for the oil to travel down all the hair. So type 3A curls definitely have an S shape, just like I mentioned, but their curls are generally big and kind of the size of like sidewalk chalk. 3A curls are usually very defined and very springy, and generally this hair type can easily be straightened or retexturized. However, type 3A curls are more prone to frizz than wavy hair and can actually lose their definition a lot more than 2A or 2B or 2C hair as well, simply because they get frizzy easily. Type 3B curls are a little bit more voluminous than 3A curls and typically have a smaller circumference compared to 3A curls like the shape of a Sharpie. 3B curls are definitely not as shiny as 3A curls simply because as we go further down this line the hair is going to be a lot more drier naturally and 3B curls can definitely be a lot more coarse and a lot more dense. 3C curls are a lot tighter than 3A or 3B. They tend to be higher in density and a lot more coarser than the type 2 or the 3A, 3B type hair. 3C curls are also usually a lot finer in texture, although they are more densely packed on the hair. So now I'm going into my type, which is type 4. Type 4 is just full of tightly textured coils and curls. It's also extremely wiry and fragile. A lot of times type 4 hair can appear coarse, but it's actually very soft most of the time. And obviously type 4 hair is the most commonly found in African Americans. So type 4A hair is just a little bit more tightly coiled than the 3C hair. It has more of a tightly spiral texture compared to the 3C, which is a more looser spiral texture. 4A hair also typically holds more moisture than 4B or 4C, and it also usually has a more definite curl pattern too. Like I mentioned, all of the type 4 hairs are very wiry and fine textured and very very easily prone to breakage. Type 4 hair just has fewer layers of cuticle on the hair so it doesn't have as much protection from natural damage or heat or manipulation. Basically it's just harder for us. <laughs> Type 4B hair usually has more of a Z pattern. It's a lot less definite than 4A. Instead of curling or coiling, the hair more like zigzags. 4B hair can experience shrinkage up to 80% of its full length. Don't get me wrong, 3C and 3B and 4A hair also shrinks up a lot, but the 4B and the 4Cs, your hair could literally come to like right here when it's straightened and be all the way up here when it's in its curly state just because that's how much shrinkage there is. Type 4C hair has a pattern that will pretty much never clump the way other curl patterns do. There's no real definite curl pattern unless you do styling techniques, you know, like finger coils or um, braid out, twist out, stuff like that. The hair itself does not have a definite curl pattern. 4C hair is usually the finest and the most fragile just because it does not hold moisture as well as the other curl patterns do. It requires a lot more moisture, a lot more maintenance because 4C hair is also typically um, the most porous so it will take in moisture soak it all up and then that's it <laughs> like you have to keep adding more and more moisture because it is so porous and it will keep taking in more and more and more and it never really has like a solid like this is how much moisture I need type of situation you know it just needs constant moisture type 4c coils can actually look very identical to type 4b except there's less of a curl pattern so when it comes to hair types and everything Comparing your hair to other people um, is not really a good idea because there are so many things that go into texture typing itself. That's why typically when people ask me, what type of hair do you have? I'm like, I just have type 4 hair. I don't know, it's a, it's a mixture of, I think, type 4A and 4B, but I'm not really 100% sure because my hair also can resemble type 3 hair sometimes. So it just really depends. Next week's video is going to go more into detail about porosity and density because those are two big characteristics that can determine um, what products to use for your hair and what methods to use for your hair. And then the video after that will probably go more into length and width. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful to you and I hope that maybe um, you now understand a little bit better the way the texture and hair typing system works. I get so many questions about my hair type. I get so many people comparing their hair to my hair and I'm just like, no. <laughs> Focus on you and your hair and that's it. Don't think that your hair is like anyone else's. Just assume that you have your own unique pattern and figure out the best products and methods for you. And don't focus on other people. I promise you that will only set you back if you're thinking constantly, oh my hair is just like Casey's, I'm gonna use everything Casey uses. Cause you're gonna end up upset <laughs> when your hair does not come out exactly like mine because you may need to alter your products or techniques. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe down below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.